mime bubujika ni Thursday or the Holy Thursday uh, Holy Communion service. This is an important evening for all of us as members of the body of Christ and more so to the people of Kasarani. Today marks our 40th day in our Daniel fast. So today is very special to us because we commemorate the Holy Thursday where we're going to break the bread of life together here laid down to us and at the same time we are bringing to an end our 40 days of Daniel fast. And as Daniel and the rest of his colleagues were tested and after 21 days they were seen to be better, my prayer is that health-wise you are better than you are physically, spiritual health you are better now after 40 days than you are then. So even as we break the fast today with the bread of life, I pray that good health will be a portion physically, good health spiritually will be a portion, and the Lord God will even make your life to be well this day and always. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for you, our Jehovah and God, together with us. We thank you for this holy past day that you have given us to be able to commune together, even as we break the bread of life, O oh Lord, and this physical bread to signify the bread of life. We pray for your presence to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reflection today, my beloved in the Lord, will be drawn from the book of Matthew chapter 26 and verses 26 through to 29 where the Bible says as they were eating Jesus took some bread and blessed it then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples saying take this eat for this is my body and he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it he gave it to them and said each of you drink from it for this is my body confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of men. Verse 29 says, Mark my words, I will not drink wine again until the day I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Praise be to God. Today, like I've said, as we go through this Maudi Thursday, Maudi, which is today, is an English word for worship. It reminds us, because it's an English word for worship, it reminds us how Jesus lowered himself literally and figuratively to wash the disciples, his disciples' feet. And today would be that nice day of washing disciples' feet, which is symbolic of humility. It signifies humility, it signifies serving one another. And as family members, as members of the body of Christ, now that we have this COVID-19 situation where we are home with our children, we are home with our parents, we are home with our friends that are in our home, members of our home, it is good time for us to serve one another. As Jesus Christ figuratively and literally washed the hands and washed the legs and the feet of the disciples, it is a good time for us to serve one another. This signifies humility. No one bragging to be bigger than the rest. No, this signifies humility, serving one another. Children serving their parents, parents serving their children, and each serving each other. Washing each other's feet, either directly, literally, or symbolically by serving in other areas. Today, Jesus Christ will remember with his disciples the way he broke the bread of life. And that Bible says, he says in verses 26, as they were eating, Jesus took bread and he blessed it. The bread Jesus took and he blessed it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take it, this is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. 
<coughs> this is the whole matter of this act of communion. When we take to the bread and the wine, we are simply reminded of Jesus Christ. When we take this bread, it reminds us of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is for the atonement of our sins. It is meant to help our weak faith to seek a closer fellowship with God. This is the body of Christ. It shows that our bodies are weak. This body of Christ was broken, but it endured. This bread signifies our weak faith. We need to seek a closer fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ. It is meant to help us to walk closer with Jesus. Whenever you feel like we are weak in our flesh, this bread should be a reminder of our desire to walk closer with Christ. It should remind us of the price of redemption. This body of Christ was whipped. It reminds us by his stripes we are healed. What is that ailment you're going through? Is it the mental ailment? Is it physical ailment? Whatever ailment you could be going through, this body is a reminder of the same. The very remarkable thing about this bread is that it is unleavened bread. The Passover meal was the bread of affliction. Deuteronomy 16 and verses 3. Because it was to remind Israel of the captivity and the escape from Egypt. But the Lord will now do something entirely different with this bread. He will turn it from the bread of affliction to signify something far greater. This is my body. It's no longer the bread of affliction. Now, this is the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the difference. If there is a mixture of power and grace in this action of the Lord, it is in the character of the people at the table of our Lord Jesus Christ. This bread that we have now, this is the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is no affliction. It shows us the victory that is in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before you take communion, let there be a place, time for repentance. And I am urging every one of you to take advantage of it, but afterwards to also turn to this table. Forgiveness, telling the Lord to forgive us where we may have wrong in our relationship with him. In Matthew 26, 27 to 29, and he took the cup and gave thanks. And he gave them saying, drink ye all from this cup. And you do this in remembrance of him. The new thing the Lord did after he had broken the bread, he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them. The body and the blood remind us to give thanks to God for who we are, what we are, what we have. For this is the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Tradition holds that in the cups of Passover. But this summarizes all the cup. In 1 Corinthians 10, 16, the Bible says, the cup of blessing which we bless is the communion of the body of our blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And there's something eternally about this blood. There's no any other blood that can deliver, that is redeeming as this blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. All the other bloods we can pour are animal bloods. May they be for goats, sheep, cows. Only those are bloods that are for meat to eat. But this is the redeeming blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The beauty is, once we are redeemed by this blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ does not ask us for more goods. He does not ask us for anything, if anything he gives us. That's why his redeeming blood is so final, is so conclusive in our life. This cup reminds us today of the deliverance that comes from our Lord Jesus Christ. This day, I want you to join me in commemorating and remembering to consecrate our lives today as we take the bread and the wine that is given by the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus points 
to cleanse him from any earlier defilement. Any earlier defilement we have gone through, this blood signifies that. It also symbolizes consecration of a new life. That's why he says, do this in remembrance of me. For it is the consecration to a new life. As we end our 40 days down and fast, may the Lord God bring a new beginning, a new life into your life, each one of you this day. Let us pray. Eternal loving God, we thank you for your Jehovah and God together with us. Even as we commemorate this morning, Thursday, Holy Thursday, Lord, continue reminding us of your body, bread that signifies your body that endured. Continue reminding us about the cup, Lord, the cup that is a sign of our deliverance. May all of us, Lord God, experience a new beginning in our lives. My beloved in the Lord, what shall we render unto the Lord for his bounty blessings unto us? We we'll lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. We shall fulfill our vows before the Lord, fulfill them in the presence of his people. My beloved in the Lord, Jesus Christ says, Come to me, O who are weary and barren, and I'll give you rest. I am the bread of life. So Jesus says to us in Matthew, he reminds us, I am the bread of life. Anyone who comes to me will never go hungry. And anyone who believes in me will never be thirst. And anyone who comes to me, I will never drive away. In John chapter 6, verses 35 through to 37. And that is what we are commemorating this day. Jesus Christ, the bread of life. Once you have Jesus as your bread of life, you don't require any other prayer. Let us join together in believing what we believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, servant and Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. Sent into hell. Third day he rose again and ascended into heaven. In our seats on the right hand of God the Father Almighty, there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, and the life everlasting. Amen. What I believe, what I faith, believe that signifies, summarizes our entire belief in the entire Bible. Loving the Lord, let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. They may father and love you and walk to magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Even us, in this solemn mood, sit in your homes together with me. Let us join together in the same spirit as we remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. Paul in 1 Corinthians 11, 23-26. The tradition which I had along to you came from the Lord himself. The night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this as often as you eat it in remembrance of me. The same way after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this whenever you eat, drink it in remembrance of me. For I never... You eat this bread and drink this cup. You commemorate the death of our Lord Jesus Christ until he comes again. The Lord be with you. And also, lift up your hearts. Together say we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and fitting so to do. It is indeed right and fitting at all times and places give thanks and praise to our Lord God who is our bread of life and to praise him and now together with the angels and the archangels join together in the angels song singing together and saying holy 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 Lord God of hosts 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How holy you are. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, sit down your Holy Spirit to bless us. Bless the gifts that you have bestowed upon each one of us in our homes, oh God. The food we have to eat, the drinks we have, the shelter of our head, the clothing, Jehovah, the gift of life. Every time, Lord God, we enjoy everything and anything we have, oh God. Help us be thankful men and women. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, I love in the Lord. This giving thanks at the meal. The last meal that Jesus did with his disciples on this Thursday when we commemorate this communion. It reminds us of the importance to give thanks in every situation and give thanks over everything that God has given us. According to the whole institution, example and command of our Lord Jesus Christ, and as a memorial to him, we do this on the night he was betrayed. Pray none of us will betray Jesus of the two one another. Broke bread. Say, take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this as often as you eat it in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, the cup of deliverance, the cup of redemption, and said, this is a cup of deliverance. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death until I come again. May the Lord help you to commemorate his death in everything you undertake and to do. The peace of the Lord be with all of you, and also with our souls. Bless the Lord of my soul, and do not forget all his benefits in his life. <speaking in Spanish> Gracious God, gracious Jehovah, this day as we commemorate you there, Lord, we pray the victory and the power in the blood, that body and the blood will be ours forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved in the Lord, you are not your own, for you are bought with the price, the price of the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. As such, therefore, in everything you do, glorify the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ said, whoever overcomes, I will allow them to sit with me on my Father's throne, as I also overcame. Beloved in the Lord, we have commemorated in the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that signify victory. May the Lord God make you victorious in everything that glorifies his name. Amen. And I want to pray with you. Some of you have your gifts. 
that you have for the 40 days, they had agreed. And some of you have purpose, there's that gift you want to give to God. There's that gift you want to give in the house of God. And you have prepared that thanksgiving gift for the house of God. And you can send it in the various means that we always do. I want to pray with you and pray for that gift. Loving Jehovah, loving God, we thank you for the gifts of thanksgiving. The offering that is given by your beloved, O oh God. For every giver, Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for a double portion of your blessing. Lord Jesus Christ, you remind us it's blessed to give than to receive. I pray now, Lord God, that you will bless everyone that has purpose in their hearts to support the ministry. And also, Lord Jesus Christ, to come before you with thanksgiving. I speak a blessing to them, Lord, and pray that from your bounty, you will supply all their needs in accordance with your riches in glory. Be with them now, with all of us now, and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. This was your pastor and friend, Karanja, and I'm so happy that you chose to join me today, this Holy Thursday, as we commemorate the, birth, the death of our Lord Jesus Christ through bread and wine. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon every Christian student. The mighty loving God watch over your going out and your coming in from this day and And may the peace of God that surpasses human understanding keep your hearts and your minds in the love of God, Son Jesus Christ, and may the blessings of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with all of you now. Oh, no.